My long brothers and sisters. So bricks, bricks, bricks. And when they ended it all, they were at 11 from 1st of January next year. Now, a lot of you were disappointed. You were like, ugh, it should have been 10, the 10 kings. Argentina's top presidential candidates reject the BRICS membership, which would drop it to 10. Argentina's decision to join the BRICS is facing backlash at home with two leading presidential candidates criticizing members of the group of major emerging market economies and one of them vowing to pull the South American country from the bloc altogether. Frontrunner Javier Millet asked about his view on the bloc formed by Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, said his government would only have relations with nations that defend liberty, peace, democracy and free trade. Some countries are not along those lines, he told reporters, and he added that the private sector would be free to trade freely. Patricia Bullrich, the candidate from a market-friendly opposition coalition, was more forceful. Argentina under my government will not be in BRICS, she said in a speech. President Alberto Fernandez, she added, put the country in a position of enormous weakness for committing to entering the BRICS alongside Iran during the invasion of Ukraine. Speaking from Joburg, Lula said Brazil would negotiate with Argentina's new president regardless of who wins the October 22 election. It could be that the president will not want to negotiate with Brazil, but that is his sovereign right, he said. The relationship with Argentina is very important for Brazil and South America. So a lot of upheaval and change there. From what I can see straight off the get-go from their two strongest candidates, they will not be joining BRICS. So it will be a coalition of 10 nations. Is this the 10 nations? That is the question. It is a much deeper study we can delve into in a better video. And we can discuss the way prophecy teaches and the Bible lays it out in who those 10 kings could be and how it all fits into the end time picture unfolding in front of us. But it is really interesting that we've gone up to 11 and now quite possibly 90% certain back down to 10. Keep watching with me as we approach that glorious day when our Lord picks us up. God bless. Shalom.